took me a while to really love who I am. I hope the rest of you guys felt like Nick. What? What are you talking about? Took me a while to love who I am. The majority of you is still fitting in perfectly with society. Nobody cares. Nobody's looking at you weird. Those are the only niggas that you really got to be worried about. Women and gay niggas, and that's it. Anybody else, fuck them. Anybody else, fuck them. This is crazy. This look crazy. I'm not going to lie. Six biracial people versus one secret white person is wild. No, what I mean by that is I'm saying, like, gay niggas is going to give you the truth. And women are going to tell you what they are attracted to. Or they're going to show you through their body language that they really want you to come over and, you know, do what the thing is. You know, it is what it is. But... He showed a whole picture. What you mean? I didn't see it, so I don't care. I didn't see it, so I don't care. That's what I'm saying. If you want to know how you really look, and I've said it before, you want to know how you really look, ask women and ask gay niggas. If you're a straight man or any type of person, they just know. They know. They'll tell you. I am, I am somebody. somebody. He does everything to get us to college. All that I care about. It's an ad? It's women. Oh, I am somebody. somebody. I thought he said women. We brought together six biracial people. I'm biracial. I am biracial. I'm biracial. I'm biracial. I'm biracial. I'm biracial. So this is the most annoying group of people ever, just by default. But I could be wrong, you know what I'm saying? I could be wrong. One of them is white. I'm probably wrong. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd one out? So should we start with what do you mix with? Yeah, like yeah. what's your ethnic? Yeah. Um, basically, my mom is Indian and then my dad is white, so okay. I'm Wendian. <laughs> yeah. I'm half Taiwanese, half white. Well, that's so. cool. I'm half Korean and half white. Okay. Um, I'm a fourth black and then my mom's white. This don't count. Biracial means 50-50, my guy. Why are you on the show? Like this, like, this is what makes me mad, bro. You do a DNA test, bro? Like, this is... You 25% black, and you walk... This the... See, now, I'm, now, now I look like a dick sucker. Now I look like I'm on dick. Because... Never mind, fuck it. Just whatever, bro. Do what you want to do. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I really don't care. I really don't care. Um, I'm half black and half French. Wait. <laughs> I was kind of suspicious of Daria and Ella. The hair, I felt like it was kind of a distraction, like, as a ploy. That's what I'm saying, bro. No, like, black... I'm half native... You were quarter black and you decided to come out the cut with the... American and half Mexican. How did your guys' parents meet? My parents met at a movie theater. My mom was working there and my dad like came in and he just had a crush on her. So he'd always keep coming back and just watching movies. So. It's really yeah. wholesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was a tennis coach at University of Central Missouri and my mother was an international student learning tennis. So that's how International they student, he threw that in there. Yeah. <laughs> I see it. She said, oh, you mentioned international students, so I thought she was targeting me. So I thought, hmm, okay, maybe she's the mole. My parents met in. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, where the niggas at, bro? Where they at, bro? Where the niggas at, dog? Where the niggas on here with some with some with some African features? You know what I'm saying? Where where they at, bro? This is already washing the whole culture clean of what a lot of biracial people could look like. Niggas ain't biracial. You don't understand what the fuck I just said. I should ban you. In grad school, um, they both went to Georgia Tech. Um, my dad's from Georgia, but my mom immigrated from France to go to grad school in the US. Um, so they just met each other in like the 
engineering department. My parents met at a barbecue. My dad was in the military, so he was in Osan Air Base in South Korea. And my mom was at that barbecue because she lived near Osan. She would tell me about it. She was like, yeah, I thought Americans were really weird because your dad showed up in shorts and flip flops and a button up <laughs> tee with like a Russian bear hat and it was winter. And they are just like, and then you ended up marrying him. She's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, my parents met in LA, which is like the mixing pot. So it makes sense, I guess. She had said that her parents had met in LA, but she didn't really elaborate on that. Everyone else had kind of gone into more detail about their parents, and I felt like that was a little strange. My parents um, are both from Arizona. Um, they met, um, I would say, at a bar, I think. Hers is reasonable, because if somebody asked me where my parents met, I would not have an answer for you at all, bro. I just know they fucked and that's it. Um, so yeah, my mom um, is from like the Navajo Nation Reservation. <laughs> we got through the questions. Okay, though. we got through the questions. That's good. I was just noticing that she seemed nervous and she didn't have a lot of details. Nigga, neither did you. This is the pot calling the kettle black and it's super ironic for you because you'd only be able to call Never mind. On the most simplistic standpoint, Ella looked the white Her call, no. test, even though obviously it's not truly about that. We have a three-way tie oh. <laughs> between Ella, Caitlin, and Daria. You guys Who's are gonna Daria? have 30 seconds on the clock to just kind of prove your case. So my hair, I have an afro normally, but it's all braided and I added in extensions just because it's easier. But I have four B curls, which I would only know if I was mixed. I get that from my dad. Everything else is white. No. No, 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 no. That don't sound right, bro. That just don't sound, that's like, that's not some shit niggas saying. Even a half niggas not saying that, bro. That's like really weird. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like what? I would only know, what did she say? I have four B curls, which I would only know if I was mixed. What? mean you would only know that if you're mixed i get that from my dad everything else is white because i mean my dad's half belgian and half black and then my mom's fully white so i just unfortunately am xerox paper and i don't even tan but it's all in my hair i promise my mom's from france she's from no nah, i really don't believe her but i don't believe this girl either to be fair i know she mexican or hispanic i'm sorry i know she's hispanic i think that's what she said this one makes sense. Her father being white and her also being half Korean. Um, because her father's probably like six foot twelve or some shit like that. And that's probably where the height came from, I would assume. Not trying to be racist, but that's what I would assume. So hers makes sense. Um, he not really saying much of nothing. But I still believe him. It's kind of weird, kind of strange. Uh Him, he got he got the, he got poofier hair. He got thicker hair. I don't know. He did say Indian, right? Half Indian, half something else. You six twelve. If I say you six twelve, so get over it. I don't believe her at all. Even if she is, ow, appreciate the gifted. Even if she is, her way of describing things is awful. It's between these two. It's gotta be one of these two. From a place called Ren in Brittany. Um, and then my dad grew up in Devereux, Georgia. But I actually also grew up in Arizona because they moved there and had me and my younger brother, younger sister. My sister and I are kind of the palest, but my brother actually looks like he's black. Um, so yeah, it's a weird liminal space to be in. What I was going to say before is that my mom is from the Navajo Nation Reservation, um, and my dad is Mexican. He just grew up in Arizona, so, you know, I have equal, like, uh, balances in both, I guess. I'm about to say yeah. equal what? 
she started, you know, kind of giggling or laughing in her story, and I thought, hmm, there's something suspicious here. Hey. All right. Good luck, guys. <laughs> it's nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that I'm pale, I thought, you know, might have gotten me voted out. Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the box and you'd wish to continue the game. I had a question because yeah. you said that you're growing up Quapa. Um, or like, or sorry, like, because you're, you're a quarter, right? Oh, oh, that's what it's called? Oh, yeah. That's good to know. <laughs> my back I have yeah. a friend that's quite with it. Um, yeah. I guess, like, what was that like for you as far as I know as, like, a biracial person? It's like, you feel like an imposter in your own culture sometimes? I didn't think it was go. I thought it was gonna go. I thought he was gonna go the whole video without it being brought up. I really did. I thought. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm the lightest of me and my siblings. I have a younger sister who's like the color of Rihanna, and then my brother is super tan. And so then there's me, white girl with a giant afro, and people are always like, "How is your hair so frizzy?" I'm like, "Well, it's curly. It's an afro." You know, explaining to people like who I am. Was Bro, if this is your hair right now, you do you cannot grow an afro. You cannot. She's the one. She's the mole. If this is how your hair look, supposedly twisted or dreaded up, you cannot grow an afro. I don't know how they how they allow her past the first round. I don't. I don't. I don't buy it. It was hard at times, but then I also was really proud that I got to say like, "Oh, I'm part black. Like that's why I have this cool hair." But it took me a while to really love who I am. Have the rest of you guys felt like? Nick, what? What are you talking about? It took me a while to love who I am. The majority of you is still fitting in perfectly with society. Nobody cares. Nobody's looking at you weird. It looked like you're wearing a cap that, that has another person's, like you go to the beauty salon and you can buy a wig or some shit like that and you put it on here, bro. Like it looked like that's what your hair could be, low key. That's I don't believe thing. you. One thing I felt is like, I've actually been to India like multiple times and whenever I go, I'm like the know, latest bro. one there. So I, I just don't, know, don't bro. feel Indian at all, really. He said that he had been to India and he just kind of threw that out there. And that felt really quick and just like a- it is one there. I've actually- Go back. For what? What happened? She just told on herself. What you mean? Proud that I got to say like, oh, I'm part black. Like that's why I have this cool hair. But it took me a while to really love who I am. Have the rest of you guys felt like that before yeah. too? Or? One thing I felt is- what? What happened? She literally says she's white. What you mean? Curly. It's an afro. You know, explaining to people like who I am. It was hard at times, but then I also was really proud that I got to say like, oh, I'm part black. Like that's why I have this cool hair. But it took me a while to really. She literally said I'm part black. What do you mean? Love who I am. Have the rest of you guys felt like that before yeah. too? Or? One thing. You heard, you hearing voices, my nigga. You on that YNW Melly shit. Ain't nobody said she didn't say that at all. That's crazy. The thing I felt is like I've actually been to India like multiple times, and whenever I go, I'm like the lightest one there. So I just don't feel Indian at all, really. He said that he had been to India and he just kind of threw that out there, and that felt really quick and just like a. But there wasn't any detail to the story. Yeah, for me, being from Colorado, my experience has always been too Asian to be white here in Colorado, but here at UCLA where I'm. Chad, would you look at him and assume that he's too Asian for anything? Like, who's telling you this? I don't understand. I feel like this, like, I'm not discounting the experiences. I don't want to do that. But, like, at the same time, my nigga, you're really saying that a person who's, like, almost with zero, I'm not saying zero, but, like, very minimal Asian features is being literally pointed out out of everyone and saying, oh, my God, look at you. Ha! Like, I don't think that's happening, bro. And then literally saying that to a, Kore a, a Korean who looks Korean is kind of crazy. Not right now, where it's a lot more diverse, I'm feeling like sometimes I'm too white to be Asian. So no matter what, I always feel exclusion from one side. And I think that's one of the struggles or like one of the experiences of being biracial. I don't know. I think when I was younger, I was a little more ambiguous looking. Like people would kind of joke I was like a chameleon growing up because I didn't look the same every couple of years. But it was like, I would always get like made fun of a lot by like other Korean students who would say like, there's like slurs for like biracial people. Um, and so it was always like, oh, people like you just shouldn't exist and stuff like that. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Still here. <laughs> I, I believe her. I do.
She, she, I believe. Grew up in predominantly. She, I believe. Fuck. Predominantly white neighborhoods my whole life, um, and I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak Navajo. I never had a quinceanera, <laughs> so not really like 100% in like each culture. Yeah. Yeah. For me, growing up mostly with my mom's family, who's majority white, and then my dad. All, all white. All white. His family lives farther away, so soul food and all that stuff I kind of missed out on. <laughs> Why do you keep talking? And I got to kind of explore later in life, but that's something that I always wish I had. Oh, I'm glad we all got to talk. Yeah, that was a good discussion. His like story was not as consistent. There were some things that had some detail and then some other things that were a lot less detailed. Sucks to lose, but it's all good. He might have been a liar, but I don't really know for sure. When I take a real close look at him, it's hard. Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the box and you would like to continue with the game. Appreciate the four months. When the group eliminated Devin, I think we found the mole. I think we're good now. Shut if the light turns green, that means you have voted the mole out and you all win. However, I don't believe if the lights em. turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. <laughs> <It's racing. laughs> you know what, even if it's green, oh my God, it's about to turn green, fuck. I see the little lights right now, fuck. Even if it turns green, she's still a, she's still a mole. This one right here is still a mole, even if it's, uh, still a mole, still a mole, even if it turned green. Even if it turned green, she's still a mole, I'm not wrong. Oh. I'm not wrong, she's still a mole. She's still a mole, she's still a mole. <laughs> she's still a mole. <laughs> Gas money. <laughs> I still don't believe for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will the mole please reveal themselves? Okay. Now, if I had to think of anybody that was the mole, well, there's only two niggas that got eliminated, but I don't know. Who would it have been? Let me think. I'm picking. Yeah. I don't know. I'm picking a nigga in a, in a gray sweatshirt. It's gotta be him, right? In three, two. No, it's One. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it since the very beginning. I told y'all niggas, I was like, it's either her or her. I should've just stepped with it, followed my first mind and stayed with it. Oh God. Ah! I'm Lebanese, <laughs> Arab, Middle Eastern, <laughs> which is technically white in the U.S. People from North Africa, so like Egypt, Tunisia, Algeria. Wait, what? Syria, etc. And people from the Middle East are considered white on the U.S. census. So. Okay, that's not. What? That's not true then. What the fuck? You're still biracial, though. Is she not? Yeah, etc. And people from the Middle East are considered white on the U.S. census. So it really goes to show how arbitrary <laughs> the term white is in the ways in which it's so like Egypt, Tunisia. Uh, <laughs> I'm Lebanese, <laughs> Arab, Middle Eastern, <laughs> which is technically white. Oh, I guess. In the U.S., people from North Africa, so like Egypt, Tunisia, Algeria, etc., and people from the Middle East are considered white on the U.S. census. So it really goes to show how. What the fuck? How? Do you know how different these things are culturally? How would that be white? That makes no fucking sense. How arbitrary <laughs> the term white is. I can see you trying to put that on German to an extent. Irish, yeah. English, yeah. Italian, yeah. But Lebanese and Egyptian? Just throwing that in the white category is wild to me. That sounds fucking insane. So it really goes to show how arbitrary <laughs> the term white is in the ways in which it's applied to people. I always think it's silly that on the census it's, you know, black. Shut up. I don't want to hear you talk, bro.
we're skipping you. Like, like you could be biracial, like your hair. I would have thought, okay, I, I could believe that you're mixed because you have the curly hair, but you, you never know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. I always wanted to do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta perfect this. Someone's gotta okay. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> okay. God, I hate. <laughs> no, that's crazy. That's crazy. No, that's actually insane. Saying German to an extent, but Italian full year is wild to me. Bro, if you, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you don't like that, but at the end of the day, like, Italians be on some wild shit a lot of the time. A lot of the time, bro. I can't, I can't, I, I don't want to, I don't want to say exactly, because that would be, uh, what is it, generalizing to an extent. So I'm not going to even put that, that, that type of juju out there. But, you know what I'm saying? I see that one going for that. I've never met someone from Germany, you know what I'm saying? But I, I know what they sound like. And them niggas talk and they do that thing. Or they'll do that thing. No, I'm thinking of Russian niggas. I'm thinking of Russian niggas. That's way different. I've never seen a U.S. German in my life. So they don't fit. They don't fit. I don't, I don't think they fit. It is what it is. He could try to argue with me that Italians ain't white, but they definitely are. It is what it is. Like That's your, that's your body. Those are your peoples. And it's fine. You know what I'm saying? Keep, keep your mans over there. You know what I mean?